I was running around the castle a little bit and I'm a little lost, but this place is friggin' beautiful. Welcome back for another Hogwarts Legacy episode. Um, we're just gonna roam around for a little bit and check out the castle, and then, uh, what? What? Rebellion. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, I I'm not gonna talk too much. We're gonna go ahead and roam around. Uh, I just, again, wanted to thank everybody for the love on the first couple of Hogwarts videos, and I uh, just wanted to say hello. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it and have some fun. Figure out where the fuck we are. I mean, we have a map, but, um, wow. But I've just been running around. Another adventure, are we? Was that this? Oh, yeah, this lady. <laughs> okay, let's go. I don't want to show you guys this, man. Check this out. I've been right around the corner from this thing the whole time. And I had no idea that it was right here, man. This is so cool. The grand staircase. Uh, anyway, let's figure out what we're supposed to be doing right now. A little later. All right, so I decided we're going to go to class first. And then we're going to meet up with Natty. Because it's, it's really, you know, the responsible thing to do. And I guess we can look at more beautiful parts of the school on the way over there. Oh, this is... This is Slytherin's area, isn't it? Or, um, Ravenclaw. I wonder why it's leading me this way. Wow. Revelio. I hear something. Why do I hear something? Whoa, the greenhouses. This looks sick, guys. Do you see this? Of course you do. You're looking at everything I'm looking at. Wow. Anyway, let's not get sidetracked. <laughs> Sheesh. I know I do that every single friggin' room we go into, but I have to. I don't have a choice. Just onion again. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. <laughs> Professor oh, here, Garlic. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. What's up, Professor class, Garlic? Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Oh, that's nice of you. We do look forward to growing together. But you can't say my name out loud. That's not cool. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. Is that garlic this in that basket? That would be funny if it was. And excitement. That's what it looks the like. The most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Yeah, what she said. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the malefic tuber known as the mandrake root. Oh no, the one that screams? Shite. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Okay. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils <laughs> and give it a firm tug. In the middle of class? <laughs> Oh shit. Quickly! Place your band like in the new form and cut down the soil! Wow. They can just use Reparo on that glass. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Hmm. Repero. I knew it. I knew it. I'm a freaking master I'm very wizard sorry already. About that. <laughs> Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word what a... with our new student. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a brief word, guys. Go away. 
What's that? Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I have experience. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. You have no idea now, how much I, I like herbology. Next, we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see. Yeah, anything you say, Professor Garlic. This little arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses. Look at this frick. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just gonna go watch the movies and, and I'll be right back. Alright, let's do this. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital when the ingredient did you get in here? the Wiganweld potion, right. as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Dittany. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to uh, a she said branch sort out. Of She's floor. trying to the Chinese chomping cabbage. Use like you, you know that some gardening plants puns. are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. Wait, are you saying that I'm a dummy? Greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Oof. That is not a desirable name, dude. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Grab you just want me to... mind your fingers. I... I almost lost a thumb once. All right. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Ah. Now, see that dummy? Ah. Just toss the cabbages at it, ah. and ah. they'll do the rest. Toss the cabbages? Look at that! Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. Can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Wow. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Yes. My kind of I was not expecting that at all. Like that is so cool. They're like, balls. they're like your the kind of version, I guess, of a, of a grenade in this game. I'm not saying you can't go it alone, <laughs> but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Uh. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other you have great do. hair, bro. One's your you're right up there with the dude the from, you know, Jedi you know Fallen idea. Order. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. What the hell is going on behind me? I'll see you back in class. All right. Revelio. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill she in the soil. She both uh, compliments me and insults me at the same time. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm just sucking I'm up at this point. More. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Oh yeah, I Take love this to your subject. Garden. And it will tend to you. Yeah, I'm even oh, wearing a green scarf. I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. You got I still it. enjoy checking in with my new students. It's nice meeting you, Miss Garlic. Or Professor Garlic, sorry. Sorry. God, look at this shit. Alright, yeah, so apparently I'm supposed to meet Natty uh, in Lower Hogsfield. Everything is hog. Hogwarts, Hogsmeade. Hogsfield. Anyway, uh, but I did pick up, I did, um, in my inventory, I had this badass 
coat and this new uh what's this thing called scarf so yeah i look pretty sleek anyway <laughs> let's do this this looks beautiful out here yo natty what's up girl you waiting for me it is good to see you my friend it's good to see you too hello man. natty how are you I hope you've recovered from our rather... My voice sounds so crazy. Me. It sounds like two well, voices, doesn't it? But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. <laughs> and I will have more questions. Okay. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You just love me. such oh, courage shit. fighting right, the troll, and Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow. I mean, I'd hate to be a bad pair. influence on her, but she seems like she's Ranrock. like a well, strong woman. She's going to do whatever she wants. Whether I has it that Theophilus Harlow think it's dangerous or not. Day -to -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. She's so nice, man. Be on your gut. Wait, there was a fast travel thing right here? Or did it just unlock when I got here? Wow. Wow. Your what? Don't what? Dare you threaten me. Who the f What's going on here? Where did that come from? Revelio. What's going on over here, guys? Oh. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oh, what? Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student? You can't be sick. <laughs> oh. You. Leave her alone. Stood by. I'll have taken your life before you even realize it's gone. Akio. <laughs> You were saying something? Bang! Oh, who's this guy? Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Yeah? Bring it. Nice, very nice. Get over here! We can hold them off, Reductor! I'm not going anywhere. Oh, man, the combat in this is so good. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood, thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. 
Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Oh, look at her little hatchet Let's right there. Isn't that what that is? That's pretty sick. They return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued Aww. my interest <laughs> in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. <laughs> Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. That's pretty cool. He created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was Slytherins. terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> you see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Jeez. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Wait, where Each are you? Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Where the hell did she go? I can't see her. See that? I did. I was standing on it. <laughs> what should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. All right. The flames make the pyre sink. Uh. So cool. That is so friggin' cool. How beautiful. That is very beautiful. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Is that like a little uh, digitized, oh, digitized Merlin in the middle of there? I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. Wow. However, I now have even that was so more cool. questions. I love this game. How every every thing that they do in this game is so cool. Notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. You as well. And do what? be careful out here. Everybody now, in this game is so nice. Needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Oh, it's so beautiful out here, man. I would hang out here all friggin' day. It doesn't seem to be very... Oh, oh shit. Okay. Oh, wow. That is... Oh, shit. Dude. 
That was pretty cool. You know, all these teachers have been, you know, pretty much everybody I've met so far, aside from that, you know, little goblin or whatever, has been super nice. I hope my next teacher is not, you know, a complete shit. I feel like that happens. Like, a lot of the times you're like, oh, everybody's so nice. And then, you know, <clears throat> what was that one lady's name from, uh... Shit, I forgot which one that was. Man, I'm a terrible Harry Potter fan. Come here! There we go. Yeah, boy! I've been looking at that one for a while. Shouldn't that be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Nah, nah, we're good. Would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent. I wish I had a, um... Like a friggin' scarf that matches the rest of this outfit, but whatever. And I wish I had some pants that went all the way down and my socks didn't show. Wow, this class is cool. Coco! Why am I sitting on the floor again? <laughs> uh. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, I knew that too. each of you will have brewed a Wigan Somebody just told me that not that long ago. Your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Everybody in this game has great hair, man. This guy's hair is great. He looks like fucking John Wick teaching his class right now. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. You got it. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Woo, careful, man. That's like five drops. Take it easy, bruh. Ah, uh, so I'll go this way. All right. Don't come look over my shoulder, dude. Don't do it. It makes me nervous. Yeah, look at that guy. He's like the oh, Hermione of the you class. Not forgotten how to stir. Oh shit. Hmm. Take a not sip. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment you can find the hey man, I have a scar on my, my face too. But in the future, Yours you'll be is expected cool, to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. There's this character, rushed. there's this movie have character named John Wick. Thorough. And I really think that they modeled him after you. I really do. His name is Professor Sharp. Seriously? This guy is sharp as hell. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld Potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Alright. I was just talking about how good looking this guy is and you just... You seem like you're really nervous. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. You're a fine job brewing your first Wiganweld Potion. Oh, thank there are you. Many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Oh, that was very. See, Samantha's nice. Everybody else is talking about Sharp and you know and how handsome he is, and she actually acknowledges how well I did. Thank you very much. What about you? You like? You have a crush on Sharp did too? I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission oh, to go Jesus. to his office. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant. 
You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. <laughs> you remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, you yes. Remember, you remember. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an endurance potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with Fooper? his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. All right. I'll get you the Fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait. Is this guy trying to I'm get growing. me in trouble right now? Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Listen, you're a Weasley dude. You're supposed to have my back. Fuck. All right. A well-prepared witch or wizard always has a few. That was pretty cool. All right. I don't know what that was, but. Revelio. Damn, I'm like robbing this dude's whole office. What's this? Yeah, I got the feather. Oh shit! All right, let me get out of here before I get in trouble. I didn't do anything. No, 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 no. Listen, John Wick, I'm good. I didn't do anything. It was this kid. It was Weasley. Here's the fourth feather you wanted. Brilliant! I didn't ask for that. What are you talking about? This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your. Boom! He blows his eyebrows off, and it's my fault because I brought in brought him the whooper feather. Whooper. Whoopa. I'm gonna back up. All right. See ya. Should you chop the dipney or crush it? Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Dude. Alright, it has been brewed. And now we add the mallow sweet. Oh, I gotta wait 20 seconds? That's odd. Ooh, another game What's where you have happening? to wait for stuff. Wait. wait. It's not supposed to. Oh no. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh shit. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> that was cool. That's awesome, dude. Points from Gryffindor. No, Again, that's my fault. Uh, Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. Listen, his listen, John Wick. Will answer Mr. To Wick. Me as well. All right. Wiganwell potion is not a cure. And no I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Well, as for the work yeah, you did totally. today in your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. Dude, you're even I fucking sharp I was at like skeptical given the advanced given a, of this like class a, a, and a punishment student. I'm glad I was able you're to like, I'm so cool that I'm not even going to punish you. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants oh, you have there are I often will. essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Listen, you don't need to tell me about cauldrons, Mr. Wick. All right? Sharp, Mr. I think Sharp. each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Yeah, don't that fret was cool. If you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Oh, this guy's too much. How you doing, bro? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. No, he was surprisingly <laughs> surprisingly understandable. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Oh shit, that is nearly Headless Nick. I friggin' knew it. Listen, dude. Hey, do you make your own hair gel? 
Do you make it? Do you make it in like these little cauldron shits like, with your potion stuff? All right, I gotta get out of here. Sorry. Whoa. Oh my god. You beat Sebastian in a duel, didn't you? I did. Brilliant. Yes, thank you. I am brilliant. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Well, actually, Nick, we're gonna we're gonna get, end this uh, the video here for the for these guys watching. Uh, but when we return, we will run off with uh, Nearly Headless Nick, and we will see what the heck he wants from us, which is probably going to be awesome, because the rest of this game has been absolutely fantastic. You guys know I love it. I said it, I've said it 500 times now. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys coming out. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video, and subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Both me and Nearly Headless Nick back here. Anyway, love you guys. Peace.